everyone, my name is Dan and I'm a first year doctor of optometry student at the University of Melbourne. I thought I might take you guys along with me for my very first week of optometry school because there's not that much info out there on the day to day life of an optometry student. So I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning everyone. So it's actually a week before the first week of uni, but they've already uploaded a few of the lectures, a few sort of introductory seminars. So I'm going to go to a cafe, get that done, and then hopefully give myself a bit of a head start before the semester actually starts. So I grabbed a coffee and these lectures were pretty straightforward. It was just an introduction to how the eye evolved and also to how the semester is actually structured. So on the way back, I saw an enormous bush of black nutshade out of someone's house. This bush is pretty distinct and the berries of the bush, these black berries, actually have a chemical compound called atropine inside them, which you actually use to dilate pupils in optometry. So I had a look at my timetable and it turns out first week's pretty hectic. They just throw us straight into some pracs, bunch of lectures. So I'm not really going to have a lot of time to go out, adventure, have a bit of fun. So I thought before that happens, I'm going to drive out here. So I'm about an hour and a half out of Melbourne. And uh, I'm just going to enjoy freedom for a little bit before I have to really knuckle down. And I thought, what better place to enjoy freedom than out here? I mean, look at that view. Come on. So, we just finished up here, we walked around for a little bit, I took a few photos of my, uh, my wristwatch and put it up on Instagram, at KGB on time, I uh, talk about the history of vintage Russian and Soviet uh, watches, so if you would support me there I'd greatly appreciate it, even if you're only mildly interested about the history of that. Um, but yeah, so we're finishing up here, I'll probably collect a few wild blackberries, just so we've got some fruit on the way home. And then the next time I'll see you guys will be on the first proper day of optometry school. Uh, a day where I will be a lot busier and I won't have as much free time to uh, do this sort of stuff that I enjoy. See you soon.
So I'm actually on my way to collect some wild blackberries. They grow rampant all around here. They're actually a bit of a pest. Uh, the good thing is that <laughs> during the summer you get heaps and heaps of blackberries. The bad thing about it is, well, it's a pest and it grows everywhere, which is quite annoying. So we'll hopefully be getting rid of these blackberries sometime soon, but for the meantime, at least we can uh, have something yummy to eat. And here I've managed to collect quite the large bucket. I've also managed to find some fat hen or white goosefoot. It's completely edible and has also been used to feed the poultry, which is actually where the name comes from, fat hen. And I've also managed to find some wild plum just growing on the side of the road. So we're going to take a few of these to take with us back to Melbourne and we'll have a, a few fruits on the way that we can enjoy. Good morning. So, just had breakfast and I've got a couple minutes, I've got exactly seven minutes until my lecture starts. Uh, and apart from that, it's just lectures all day. So I've got four lectures today, two of them are introductions to different subjects and the other two are actual content. So it's a pretty easy day. It's a bit confusing because we were given two timetables and one of them we were told to disregard for some reason. Um, so going by the one we actually use, it's a pretty smooth day. So essentially just gonna do those lectures, write up a few Anki cards for them, um, and then we've got day two tomorrow. So these were some more introductory lectures into how our subjects are structured. So we've got two subjects, one called preclinical optometry. This is where we learn all the techniques we need to know, uh, learn all the skills, how to use all the equipment. And then we've got IOS, or so integrated optical sciences. And this is a subject which is the larger subject and it's split into three sort of sub subjects or streams. And those three subjects are optical physics, visual functions, which is all about how the brain processes sight. So we're gonna be doing a lot of neuroanatomy and neurology. And then the last one is biological systems. And this is all histology, biochemistry, immunology, everything about the anatomy and how the eye actually functions. And in that topic that I just mentioned, visual functions, one of the first lectures is on something called visual psychophysics, which I'll let you know if I have any understanding of what that is <laughs> at all. So today's my first day of practical, so I'm actually going into uni. It takes me about an hour to get in, an hour to get out, and usually I'd be doing Anki during this time, but here I'm reading a book because it's the start of the sem and I don't have that much content to do. A disclaimer, the next minute or so of footage is a little bit gory because we had a dissection of an eyeball. Uh, so if you're a bit squeamish, it's probably better to skip a little bit forward and look away. So firstly, we had to remove all the orbital fat around the eye and find where the optic nerve is and where all the muscles were. And we've also got this really thin layer of epithelium on the cornea, which actually starts peeling off after the animal or the humans died. Uh, we had to cut open the eye and on the inside, you can actually see the vitreous, which is this jelly-like structure that 
sort of holds the eye into shape. Uh, and if we cut this open, you'll see it really is like a jelly. It just hangs to the eye. Here you can actually see this Y-like shape in the lens. These are the lens sutures, which help with the lens's flexibility when you're focusing. Uh, and I just think that's really cool. Our eyes have these weird suture-like structures inside it. We also removed the lens, and this is more so we can sort of see how it works. If you look closely, you can see the world's actually inverted. It's a bit easier to see with a flashlight because you can actually see the light moving in the opposite direction as it goes through the lens. And the lens itself is actually a really jelly-like material as well, sort of like aloe vera jelly, which I just, I just didn't expect. So, I don't know, I found it really cool to actually be able to see what's inside the eye. Then between pracs, I had a very nutritious lunch, as, as you can see, it was delicious. So the next prac was about optical physics, and we learnt about apertures and real images and virtual images, how an optical system works, because essentially your eye is an optical system. And turns out we have to do a lot of optical physics over the next two-ish years, because uh, we sort of need to know the ins and outs of how light works, we understand how the eye processes it. Alright, so today we had some more pracs, but this time the pracs were to do with preclinical optometry, the other subject where we actually learn all the skills. So this prac, I didn't get a lot of footage, but essentially we were learning a technique called retinoscopy. Now have you ever taken a photo of someone with a flash and then you see their eyes sort of glow red in the photo? So retinoscopy uses the exact same concept where the clinician uses this instrument to shine a light inside the patient's eye and it bounces back. And this red reflex, depending on how it looks and which direction it moves, if the clinician moves the light, you can sort of figure out what someone's prescription is based off of this light. So here you can see the light moving down while the reflex moving in the opposite direction. So this is an against movement or essentially what someone with nearsightedness would have. And you put a bunch of lenses in front of it to try and neutralize it and make the reflex look different. And then you can find someone's prescription. Well, that wraps it up for my first year of optometry school. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did. If you guys are interested in more of the everyday life of an optometry student, then feel free to mention it down below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. It really does help out. And uh, see you guys in the next one.